What Really Happened to Shelley Long, Star in Cheers Shelley Long was born Shelley Lee Long on August 23, 1949, in Fort Wayne, Indiana. She is the daughter of Evadine, a school teacher, and Leland Long, who worked in the rubber industry before becoming a teacher. She was active on her high school speech team, competing in the Indiana High School Forensic Association. In 1967, she won the National Forensic League's National Championship in Original Oratory. After graduating from Southside High School in Fort Wayne, she studied drama at Northwestern University but left before graduating to pursue a career in acting and modeling. Her first break as an actress occurred when she began doing commercials in the Chicago area. In this life, it's important to find something that suits you, not to find something beautiful, beautiful and not suitable, but what works for you will surely become beautiful. This girl always knows how to dress appropriately, and has a heartwarming smile. Long's first marriage to Ken Solomon ended in divorce after a few years in the 1970s. In 1979, she met her second husband Bruce Tyson, a securities broker. They married in 1981 and had a daughter, Juliana. Long and Tyson separated in 2003 and divorced in 2004. With that, her career was counted. In Chicago, she joined the Second City Comedy Troupe. In 1975, she began writing, producing, and co-hosting the television program Sorting It Out on WMAQ-TV, and went on to win three regional Emmys for her work on the show. Long also appeared in the 1970s in V05 shampoo print advertisements, and in commercials for homemakers furniture and Kamei soap. In 1978 she appeared in a vignette on The Love Boat. In 1979, Long appeared in the television movie The Cracker Factory as a psychiatric inmate. That same year she guest starred on Family and Trapper John, M.D. In 1980 she appeared in her first feature film role in A Small Circle of Friends. The film about social unrest at Harvard University during the 1960s enjoyed a level of critical success. In 1981, she played the role of Tala in Caveman. She played Nurse Mendenhall in a 1979 episode of M Asterisk ASH. In 1982, she starred as Belinda, the good-natured prostitute neighbor of the character portrayed by Henry Winkler in Ron Howard's comedy Night Shift, and starred with Tom Cruise in Losing It. She was offered the role of Mary, the mother in Steven Spielberg's E.T. The Extraterrestrial, but she declined because she had already signed on to appear in Night Shift. While simultaneously appearing on Cheers, she continued starring in several motion pictures. In 1984, she was nominated for a Best Leading Actress Golden Globe for her performance in Irreconcilable Differences. She starred in a series of comedies, such as The Money Pit, Outrageous Fortune, and Hello Again. She was also offered lead roles in Working Girl, Jumpin' Jack Flash and My Stepmother as an Alien, but did not accept those roles. Although she had already been in feature films, Long became famous for her role in the long-running television sitcom Cheers as the character Diane Chambers, who has a tempestuous on-and-off relationship with Sam Malone. The show was slow to capture an audience but eventually became one of the most popular on the air. Amid some controversy, Long left Cheers after season 5 in 1987. Her first post-Cheers project was Troop Beverly Hills, a comedy in which she plays a housewife who takes leadership of a wilderness girl troupe to bond with her daughter and to distract herself from divorce proceedings. In a 2003 interview with Graham Norton, Long said she left for a variety of reasons, the most important of which was her desire to spend more time with her toddler daughter. In a 2007 interview on Australian television, Long claimed Danson was a delight to work with and talked of her love for co-star Nicholas Colasanto, who was one of my closest friends on set. 
She said she left the show because she didn't want to keep doing the same episode over and over again and the same story. I didn't want it to become old and stale. She went on to say that working at Cheers was a dream come true. It was one of the most satisfying experiences of my life. So, yes, I missed it, but I never regretted that decision. In 1990, Long returned to television for the fact-based miniseries Voices Within the Lives of Trudy Chase. She received critical praise for the role, which required her to portray nearly 20 personalities. This introduced her to more dramatic roles in TV films, after which she starred in several more throughout the 1990s. Major feature film roles followed such as the romantic comedy Don't Tell Her It's Me with Jamie Gertz and Steve Gutenberg and Frozen Assets, a comedy about a sperm bank, which reunited her with Hello Again co-star Corbin Burnson. In 1992, she starred in Fatal Memories, the Eileen Franklin story, a fact-based television drama about a woman who remembers the childhood trauma of being raped by her father and his cronies and witnessing him murder her childhood friend to prevent the child from telling on him. Long starred in the 1992 film A Message from Holly with Lindsay Wagner. Next, she plays a workaholic who finds out that her best friend has cancer and only six months to live, then stays with her in her last months. In 1993, the actress returned to Cheers for its series finale and picked up another Emmy nomination for her return as Diane. She also starred in the sitcom Good Advice with Treat Williams and Terry Garr, and the show lasted two seasons. She later resurfaced as Diane in several episodes of the Kelsey Grammer spin-off series Frasier, for which she was nominated for another Emmy Award. Appeared as Carol Brady in the 1995 hit film The Brady Bunch Movie, a campy take on the popular television show. In 1996, she reprised her role in a very Brady sequel, which had modest success. A series of ventures followed such as the TV remake of Freaky Friday and the family sitcom Kelly Kelly, which only lasted for a few episodes. She played the Wicked Witch of the Beanstalk in a 1997 episode of Sabrina, the Teenage Witch. In 1999, she starred in another TV movie Vanished Without a Trace, about a woman who simply refuses to accept the kidnapping of her 13-year-old daughter and relentlessly pursues the villain's capture. In 2000, she appeared as one of the women in the Richard Gere film Dr. T and the Women, directed by Robert Altman. She later returned for a third go-around as Carol Brady in the TV movie The Brady Bunch in the White House. She guest-starred in several TV shows such as Eight Simple Rules, Yes Dear, Strong Medicine, and Boston Legal. She had a recurring role on the popular ABC sitcom Modern Family as Dee Dee Pritchett, the ex-wife of Jay Pritchett. Starred in television movies, including Falling in Love with the Girl Next Door and Holiday Engagement. In 2012, she made a guest appearance on Switched at Birth. In 2016, she produced and acted in the feature film Different Flowers. That is a real life story. What is achieved is experienced with the enthusiasm of themselves. It really is worth it.